Hi guys, it's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about gifts. If you need to build a wish list or you need some ideas for the people in your life, hopefully this will cover just about everyone. I am splitting it up into categories based off of interests as opposed to like someone's role in your life because I see a lot of lists that are like gifts for her, gifts for mom, gifts for him. And I feel like if you go based off what people are into to. It's just gonna be a little bit more personal. I also have, I would say mostly small businesses in here, but I wanted to put this out before Black Friday, just in case you wanted to take advantage of any sales and also just to make sure everything gets there on time because when it comes to good gift giving, planning ahead is just like a little bit necessary, but I hopefully will be able to help you out with the ideation part of the gift giving. Here are gifts for someone who loves fashion. My first suggestion is definitely cool, personalized jewelry that they can wear every day. There are so many brands that make engravable pendants and signet rings. This one I'm wearing is from Catbird. If you know someone with a very dainty style, I love this necklace. I also really love these signets from Bloodstone. If you want something a bit chunkier, that's what I gave my boyfriend last year and he wears it all the time. You can put their initial, you can put your initial, you can put their pet's initial. It's just something very near and dear that will become an heirloom. Wolf Circus also has a lot of more unisex pieces of jewelry and the brand Kin Studio. I really want a bracelet from Kin Studio. They just have like everyday essentials in solid gold that are stunning. But if solid gold is a little bit out of your budget, I would recommend Heart for making a custom charm bracelet or charm necklace or looking on eBay and Etsy for vintage charms that fit that person's unique style. There are so, so many um, for really great prices. I buy a lot of my chains on eBay, so I can definitely link some below. I also love the idea of getting someone a jewelry or watch box if you know they already have a lot of jewelry and you don't know what to get them. Getting a vintage or modern jewelry box is a way to showcase all of that. I have one from eBay. I got it for $40 and it looks expensive, even though it wasn't. If you know they need a new wallet, I got my mom and sister recycled leather wallets from Higher Goods and we all still have them and use them every day. They have tons of different colors and they're made from recycled leather scraps. So it's a really great brand if you aren't into something flashy. It's very like minimal. Sheer Tech's unrippable tights. I get ads for these like crazy and I want them, but I feel like it's something I wouldn't buy myself. And I'm sure if you know a girl that wears tights a lot, she would appreciate a pair that's like well-made. So maybe check those out. If you're looking to gift cardigans or sweaters, I really recommend Saison and J. Crew. They have great sweaters across the board for both men's and women's, unisex, cashmere, I mean, they're just, those are high quality. They're gonna last. I also think belts are a great idea. Saison has great ones for women and Maximum Henry is a brand where you can get custom with colors, buckles, and you might need some input on the ordering, but it's definitely like an essential that they would think of you every time they go to use it. And it's like, you know, such a luxury to have it custom. A coffee table book from their favorite designer is also a great idea. Coffee table books are always fun to have, but not necessarily fun to buy. And I feel like those are the best kind of gifts to receive. Like last year, my sister gave me a gift card to The Real Real, and it was just like such a nice way to be like, buy yourself some nice clothes, you know? Gifts for people who love beauty and skincare. I will link below my favorite like luxurious body products because I feel like a scalp oil, body cream, body scrub, anything that is just like a little bit out of the realm of essentials is so nice to receive. I really love the brands Josie Marin, Osea, and Crown Affair. If you want that kind of like luxury feel, you can find them at Sephora. I also really love Crown Affairs quick dry hair towel and their mini scrunchies. It has helped a lot with breakage, but it's definitely one of those things that is a luxury. And so 
great, great gift to receive. Same with the Jolie shower filter, which I'm sure you've seen ads for. I do think it works. I was gifted it. And I also can attest to the fact that it fixed my water pressure. My previous shower head was so old. It feels so good. It looks so good. One year I asked for the vanity mirror that I use to do my makeup every day. And it really is something that I adore. There are a ton of different styles though. So maybe get some insight on that. The one I have on my desk is definitely more of a design forward look. It doesn't have like built-in lights or anything, but it does have a tray to catch product. Makeup brushes or a set of beauty blenders, which need to be replaced every so often. And they're just nice to have. I got my mom the Rare Beauty makeup brushes last Christmas. And I know that she uses them every day because she tells me a facial or massage is a 10 out of 10. I There's nothing wrong with receiving a gift card, especially for a facial. Um, I go to Heyday in LA, but you could always do somewhere local. Gifts for people who love cooking. This is definitely my category. I've said that before. I'll say it again. If you wanted to know what I'm asking for for Christmas, it is the Great Jones Sheet Show, which is a set of sheet pans that are enameled in a bright color. They are super heavy duty. I already have one of their half sheets and I use it way more than any of my other pans. It's also stood up to heat way better than my cheaper Target pans. And I just love the colors. They are so bright and so happy. If you know someone that makes a lot of sheet pan meals, it's a great gift. <laughs> Great Jones in general has great taste and great quality. If you know that someone likes to bake, you could get them a casserole dish. If you know that they like to cook, you could get them a Dutch oven. Um, obviously those are larger investments, but the sheet set is a great place to start. Also very specific, I am obsessed with the salt sphere from Material Kitchen. It is a salt keeper that can hold two different types of salt or seasonings, and I definitely have my eye on it. There are also so many beautiful pepper mills and salt and pepper sets out there that can really elevate a table or the kitchen. You can also never have too many pot holders. I have some from Great Jones and from Dustin Dustin that are really cute. If you know they like to go to the farmer's market, I think a picnic basket or a customized boat tote with some reusable bags is a really great idea. I also love gifting Brightland olive oil and vinegar. I feel like I do that almost every year around Christmas. They have basil olive oil, lemon olive oil, chili olive oil, even samplers. It's just like it's a crowd pleaser. Colored glassware. There are so many different styles, whether you want like a double walled cup for iced coffee or a champagne flute, just depending on that person's lifestyle. Colored glass just makes things more fun. <laughs> And if you know their interior design style, there's an artist that makes some of these beautiful lino cut food prints that are very nostalgic and amazing. I have the tomato one in my kitchen and I gave one to my sister. It's just like a fun, quirky food related gift. Gifts for someone who likes to stay at home or works from home. Target came out with the dupe for the Barefoot Dreams blanket and I have it on my couch right now. It is truly my favorite thing that I've purchased in the last year. I use it every night. A fruit bowl, a serving platter, or really anything from Settle Ceramics. Everything is just so beautiful. I love the rich blue that they use. Luxury smelling hand soap or even laundry detergent. The brand Dead Cool has one that just smells expensive and I love using it on my bed linens, which are also a good idea. If you maybe live with your partner, you could get a new duvet for you both or a new set of towels. I also will link my favorite robes because I have quite a few different robes and every man secretly wants a robe. It's just the way it works. If you know someone's coffee habits, a bag of beans or a to-go mug from their favorite coffee shop is a really cute, kind of like coffee adjacent gift because I always would tell someone to avoid a single use kitchen item unless you know for a fact that they need a new coffee grinder or they need a new tea kettle because I know as someone with an apartment, 
I don't have a lot of space. So I love things that can be used multiple times or gifts that can be like used up and don't take up a lot of extra room. Maybe a matcha sampling set or a vanilla syrup that's really fancy for their coffee, but not like a whole appliance unless you know for a fact that they need it, which I'm assuming you do. Gifts for someone who loves traveling. The brand Higher Goods also makes a recycled leather travel wallet that is very chic. I feel like a lot of those can be a bit chuggy, for lack of a better word, but this one's very classic and simple, and it is kind of nice to have that a little bit more protected. Travel-sized jewelry cases on Quince. I am buying this for myself and for my mom for Christmas, without a doubt. I feel like it's such a underrated idea. I recently got these Cadence capsules that that you put products in when you travel with them and they're kind of pricey, but I feel like I would love to receive them as a gift. I also highly recommend Bagu during the holidays. I feel like I buy something during their Black Friday sale and gift it over Christmas every single year because they have computer cases, purses, packing cubes, carry-on bags, and it's all pretty affordable and colorful and fun. And I just, everyone needs something Bagu in their life. A mini Theragun is so nice for muscle recovery if you work out a lot or you are sore just from existing. Um, it's so, so relieving. That is like a gift that we'll keep on giving. Same with the suitcase or noise canceling headphones, but I feel like you guys know that. I don't need to tell you that, but I will link the noise canceling headphones that I wear in all of my vlogs because they are half as much as AirPods, but I feel like they're just as effective and I think they're cute, so. I like them. And lastly, gifts for someone who is obsessed with their pet, which is really every pet owner. You can't go wrong with a gift about the pet. Last Christmas, I got my dad a harness for our family dog, and you would think I got a present for him, how excited he was about it. I got her one from Wild One, which is also what my dog wears. They are really high quality. The leashes are waterproof, and they come in a bunch of colors depending on you and your your animal's personal style. I also have quite a few t-shirts and sweaters from the brand Little Beast. They are a bit more expensive than like dog sweaters from Amazon, but you can really tell in the quality and they even have a matching set. So you and your dog or your cat can match with Lisa Says Ga and it is so cute. So you might need to pre-order it. I'm also obsessed with vintage dog and cat breed t-shirts and sweaters shirts. You can find a lot of these on Etsy and eBay. I just feel so happy when I'm wearing mine, kind of like a crazy dog parent way, but also it's cute. I also see vintage solid gold dogs and cats on eBay all the time that are breed specific and I need a solid gold poodle. Like it is just so cute to me and I feel like a really fun one of a kind present. If you know they like charm necklaces, it's kind of specific, but I think it's cute. I will throw all the links below along with any other ideas I come up with and I will see you guys with a new video very soon. Bye guys.